that can amount to what he has done for us on the cross of Calvary. He, was, he is the Holy One. He is the one. Innocent, righteous, sinless. But he gave his life on that cruel, rugged cross for your sake and for my sake. So tonight, I am telling you that our God, Jesus Christ, defeated the devil and the power of darkness totally on the cross. And that is why today you can be delivered. You can be set free. You can be rescued. Because he has done it and he finished it on the cross of Calvary. And he's the one who has all the power in his hands to deliver, to save, to heal, to rescue, and to provide for all your needs. So tonight in John 4, 48, Jesus said, Except ye see signs and wonder, you will not believe. Except you see signs. So God knows that we need to see signs and wonder for our faith to be solidified. And I am telling you tonight, this is, is what his what is, is word says. If that is what his word says, he's ready for us. The signs and wonders are there for you and I. But my question tonight is, are you ready to receive from him? Am I ready to receive from him? It's a finished work. And he knows. And he said, I know that you will not believe on Unless you see signs and wonders. In other words, he has provided those signs and wonders to manifest in our life. But are we ready to receive it? It is because we do not believe. If we are ready and we believe that it will happen, I am telling you definitely it's going to happen. Because... His word is yea and amen, and it is settled. Our God is not a disappointment, and it's not a failure. And tonight, that, that same God is here. So as you are sitting down here, right there, I want you to be searching yourself. The unbelief, be telling your, your be, be saying it to yourself, unbelief, I drop you off tonight. In the name of Jesus, because I am receiving signs and wonder from the Lord. And it shall be so in our life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Exodus 15, verse 11, the Bible says, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful, impressive, doing wonders? In Isaiah 53, one of his name is Wonderful. So our God himself is wonder. So every second, wonder should be, if wonder comes out of him. Every, in fact, if there is anything that we can, that, can, that is lesser than second, it, it goes out, goes out, goes out, goes out. Are you receiving yours? Am I receiving mine? Because at any second, he is wonder. Wonder every time. Are we receiving those wonders in our life? Are we receiving it in our home? Those signs, are we receiving them? So tonight, I am declaring it again. Our God is God of miracle. He shows signs and wonder to his people. But unless we believe, we cannot receive it. Jeremiah 32, 27 says, he says, behold, I am God of all flesh. Is anything hard for me? And in Jeremiah 32, 17, he says, ah, Lord God, behold, thou art made the heaven and the earth. 
by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing hard for thee. Nothing is hard for God to do. So that hard situation of yours, that problem, that issue, the Lord say they are pieces of cake. He said they are not hard for me. He said the thing that is impossible with you is possible with God. All you and I need to do is to believe. And the signs and wonder will continue. Non-stop to follow us. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 44, 26. The Bible says, who confirm the word of his servant and perform the counsel of his messenger. So this passage is telling us that God performs whatever his messenger says. And I want to tell you tonight that all the believers are messenger of God. So it is our responsibility to say it. And God is ready to do it. In the name of Jesus. All is demanding for us is little faith. In Mark chapter 11, he said, You will say unto this man, they move, and it will move. It will move. You will say to that problem, and it will disappear. You will speak to that situation. And you will receive solution. Say it. Decree it. And it shall be established. Amen. Now comes to the passage that we read tonight. Acts chapter 14. This is where total healing and supernatural act of God was reported. When Paul was preaching in Lystria. And he saw a man. And the man, the Bible said the man was concentrating on Paul. The man was very serious. And the Bible said Paul perceived that that man believed. And that that man was expecting to be healed. Tonight, are you expecting from the Lord? Expecting signs and wonder to be wrought in your life. Are you expecting? Concerning that situation, are you expecting from the Lord? Remember, this sign shall follow, shall accompany those who believe. When you expect, it means you believe that what you are expecting will come true. And it shall be so in your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation may be. Situation in your home. Situation in the life of your children. Situation on your job. Situation on your studies. Expect tonight. That tonight is your miracle night. And before you leave here. I am telling you. The Lord will perform that miracle in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the man had faith to be healed. And in verse 10, the Bible said, Paul said in a loud voice, because Paul perceived that this man is ready to receive. We have all welcomed Jesus in our midst tonight. And he's right there where you are sitting. But can he perceive that you are expecting from him? Remember, he sees through our, our, our mind. He sees through us. As you are sitting down here, can the Lord perceive that you are ready to receive? And I am telling you, it's, you, it's not going to fail you tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So in verse 10, Paul said with a loud voice, he said, stand upright on thy feet. Stand upright on 
thy, on, on, on thy feet. You cripple, stand upright on thy feet. Whether you are crippled or not spiritually, physically, financially, I am challenging that crippleness in you to disappear Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is here and is telling you tonight, stand upright on thy feet. Amen. Academically, stand upright on thy feet. Amen. Financially, stand upright on, their feet, on, the, on your feet. Physically, stand upright Amen. on your feet. Amen. Spiritually, stand upright on your feet. Amen. On that your dog, stand upright on your feet. On that desire of your heart, stand upright on your feet. On that thing that you are crying to God for tonight, I say, stand upright on your feet and claim your blessing. In the name of Jesus, claim your miracle. In the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. Stand upright on thy feet. So Paul, with a loud voice, shouted. And the Bible said, the man lived and walk. Live and walk. Yes, the word of God shall be confirmed in your life Amen. and in your situation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So in verse 11, when the people saw what happened, <laughs> the Bible said they lifted up their, their voices and said in their language that the God has come to us in form of man. God has come to us. So Paul and Barnabas were treated like God. In fact, the Bible said they were now putting things together make, to make sacrifice. They named them Jupiter and Mercurius. <laughs> and they were trying to offer sacrifice to them. And when Paul and Barnabas heard of it, what these people were about to do, they rent their clothes. They rent their clothes. And they ran to them. And say, why do you do these things to us? We are men like you. Men of like manner with you. We are not different. We are not different. It is the anointing and power of God in us that is producing such an awesome result. You are witness right now. It is not our power. It is not our might. What you are seeing in your, in your midst, it is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I am telling you tonight, members, of the Bam of Gilead Outreach Ministry. What you are receiving here, the miracle you are receiving here, the messages you are receiving here, it is the anointing of the Lord Most High that is producing them. It is not anybody's power. They say it is not by our might. It is not by our power, but by the Spirit of God. And they started talking to them. They told them to turn. And that is, they said, that is why we are asking you to turn to this God, the creator. He's the creator. And stop wo worshipping the creature. Worship the one who created the heaven, who created the earth and the sea and everything in the sea that you are worshipping. He created the sun. He created the moon. He put the stars together. It is him that you are to worship. The creator, not the creature. So they told the people that this God in verse uh, 17 he said, nevertheless, he left not himself without witness in that he did good. Gave us rain from heaven and fruitful season, filling our hearts with good and gladness. They let them know 
that this God is the great provider. Is the all sufficient God, is the King of glory, is the rock of ages, is the I am that is I am, is the everlasting Father, is the only wise God. There is no other God that is wiser. Is the one who is, He is the one who was, who is, and who will continue to be. He can never be dethroned. He is God, He reigns forever. From everlasting to everlasting. And he told them, they said, everything around you that you are seeing testify of his kingship. Everything around you that you are seeing testify of his lordship. And I'm asking you tonight, don't you see things around you that testify that Jesus Christ is Lord? Things around you that testify of his glory, of his power, of his strength, of his mind, of his ability, of his dominion, of his majesty, of his knowledge, of his wisdom, of his understanding. Don't you see things around you that speak of his love, that speak of his, of his mercy, of his goodness, of his surpassing day. Don't you see around you of that, that, that speaks of his profession. Don't you see things around you that tells you who God is. The one who gives rain at his, at, his, at his time. He supplies everything that you need. The fruitful season. It may be cold, but I am telling you the coldness, it brings something. God has created the cold. He has created the warm. He has created the snow. He has created the sun and the moon. He, and he, he created them to come out at their season. And that is why nobody can stop the sun from rising. Nobody can say the, 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 the that you know what you cannot come out as your senses and nobody can stop the, 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 the star from shining and if there is nobody that can stop the sun that can stop the star from shining I am telling you no power of, of, of darkness can stop your blessing in the name of Jesus Amen. the Bible says he filled our hearts with goodness with food sometimes when I look some country they will say there are so many million, so many million, and I used to ask myself, ah, and all these people they feed every day. God feed them every day. Ah, it is one thing to sow; it is another thing to germinate. Who is making those food that we eat to germinate? Is it not God? And we are saying that we will not give all the glory to Him. Who are we giving the glory to? It is Him in our life. Without him, we are nothing. Signs and wonders. It's filled with signs and wonders. And I am telling you, tonight, you will not go without receiving Amen. yours. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He is God, and there is no other. All glory, all honor, all power, all praises, all adoration must be ascribed to him. Because it's not a man. It's our miracle worker. The Bible says, whatever you ask in his name shall be given to you. So therefore, brethren, when you are coming anytime to this program, I want you to believe that you are coming to his presence. Or whether you are at your home praying privately, except to meet with Jesus, the perfecter and finisher of your faith. And the one who will confirm his word in your life with signs and wonders. And he will not fail you. He will not disappoint you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, he spoke and the whole world came into being. He's capable to bring something out of nothing. Remember, he brought water out of the rock. He can turn little, that little things. He can make it and turn it and multiply it to be plenty. He is God. He will meet you at the point of your need tonight. Financially, he will meet you. Spiritually, he will meet you. He will solve that problem for you in the name of Jesus. He has the ability to control all things and whatever you may be going through, whatever that problem tonight, the God of wonder is here. He's here to heal. He's here to save. He's here to deliver and he's here to bless you in the name of Jesus. 